Hello YouTube, I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and this is my review of The Oracle from 1985. The Oracle tells the story of a young woman named Jennifer, who moves into an apartment with her husband Ray. Their new and happy life becomes interrupted when Jennifer finds a place with the Oracle. The Oracle is a small planchette that has a hand attached to it, making spirits be able to write down their replies so that they can communicate with the living. Used for communicating with the other side, the spirit world. Oh, oh Jennifer. No. It's hand. They call it a planchette. Yeah, right. The planchette. The spirit that contacts them does not let Jennifer go, and soon her life turns into a living hell, with objects flying around her and unimaginable visions coming to her, freaking her out to the point that she is close to a loser mental state and her marriage. She tries to figure out what the purpose of all of this is, and by doing so, she suddenly becomes involved in a murder mystery that she has to figure out in order to get her normal life back. The Oracle starts out promising, with a good old 80s vibe to it, and a cheesy, weird Ouija looking item being introduced very early on. Sadly, the interest doesn't last long, and by the end of the film it had turned from having the potential to be a hidden gem into being a dull shore to get through. It doesn't have to take much to keep me entertained, and I am very forgiving for the lack of resources that the filmmakers have at hand, but the Oracle tested my patience and left me bored out of my mind. The Oracle feels like it's made by someone who has never had any interest in making a horror film in the first place. So I was not particularly shocked when I read that director, Roberta Finlay, never really even liked horror films. She's not the first non-horror fan to make a horror film, but The Oracle feels like a project where the director did not care at all of what they were creating. It shows in the lack of interest and effort, resulting in a poor end product. Finlay does have an interesting history though. She had a career in the 60s together with her husband, making low-budget horror films before the dabble with the X-rated genre in the 70s, before returning to B-movies again, usually in the horror genre in the mid-80s. Their name will always be infamous to genre fans due to them making the 1971 exploitation film The Slaughter. If you didn't know, this is the film that had its footage being used in the 1975 Shocker Snuff, with new added gore footage not done by the Finlays. Back to the Oracle, sadly. We spend most of the time with Jennifer, played by Caroline Capers Powers. She does look like she belongs in front of a camera with the beautiful looks, but her performance is not good at all. This is the only role that she's credited with, and it is easy to see by judging her solely on this performance. She has one of the most unconvincing screams I've heard in a long time, but it does look like she's trying, so I have to give her that. My next critique is quite weird coming from me, but I also had a problem with the wardrobe choices. Judging by how the main characters are dressed, it looked like the film is supposed to set some decades earlier. But yet there's stuff with one of the characters walking around in the greedy streets of New York with X-rated theaters being shown and all of that. It's a mismatch that doesn't work for me, and there is nothing else that makes the movie make sense in an early decade than the 80s either. And finally, the fucking horror part of this film annoyed the hell out of me. How can you be behind the camera and think that this shit is acceptable? It looks stupid as hell and could only have been excused if it was done for comedic purposes. I guess the only reason for why they didn't stop the shoot to figure out some other way to handle it was that they just didn't care. What the hell are you doing in there? Jenny! Jenny! Open the door! Jenny, open up! If I have to say something nice about the Oracle, then I guess it's that the main actress is cute, and also that there is some initial interest with the killer, even though it loses that interest after the initial murder scene. I'm not gonna waste any more of either my or your time with this. The Oracle is not only bad, but it fails to deliver on the initial potential that was presented during the start of the film. It's terribly made, illogical, stupid, and even worse, it's just boring as hell, and not a film worth seeking out. This was just a huge disappointment. The Oracle only gets a 1 out of 5. Anyone out there on YouTube land has actually seen The Oracle? Am I wrong with my dislike for this film? Get at me in the comment section if you think so. If you do enjoy reviews of low-budget horror films of the past, then check out my other videos as I talked about countless of other forgotten B-movies on my channel. See you next time, and thank you for watching.